Can't find a ticket with this one. I was looking for the ticket, I can't seem to find one. Let me just see if it's on the system. Search for the serial. Xbox Series X. Other or unknown fault, all right. It just says other or unknown fault, so yeah, I don't know. Never mind, it's fine. We'll figure it out. Right, so another customer job. This has been sent in a squashed up box along with an Xbox One X as well. Let's see if we can figure out what's actually wrong with this. So the box for this, interestingly, has got a CEX sticker on it. So I'm not sure why this has gone, not gone back to CEX. Uh, HDMI port looks okay. Let's have a look. Looks like no power. Looks like no power on this one. Yeah, okay, so we've got a complete no power on an Xbox Series X. Interesting. Now, whether I'm going to be able to finish this tonight or not, I don't know, because it's getting quite late. But, if you are watching this back as a video, and you enjoy these types of videos, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications, so that you don't miss any future videos. And, I'm live streaming this on Twitch right now. So, if you want to check me out over there, you can check me out, and also link an Amazon Prime account if you've got one, and support me that way. I would really appreciate it. Alright, so, I want to know why this is, well, I'm assuming an Xbox which has been bought from CEX, because it has got a CEX sticker on the box. Why hasn't it gone back to CEX? That's what I want to know. Oh, I've got my hot air set at like 160 degrees, so I'm just going to melt this sticker to... Remove it. I'll say melt it. I'm just going to warm it up. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. So, no power then. So, obviously, the first thing I'm going to be checking on this is going to be the power supply. Because this is... Well, it appears to have never been opened. I mean... I can remove them without damaging the sticker, so I'm sure everyone else can as well, if they really try. So, I never really trust these in terms of this warranty sticker. Oh, this has been opened. I know why it's not working. Number one, can anyone see where the ribbon is? And number two, this has been opened, and this is why it hasn't been back to CEX. This needs... Probably one of the most common user-inflicted damage components on the board, and that is going to be a Nexus connector. Cool. So, someone's opened this up and damaged the Nexus connector. Fine. So, I guess I'm not going to be checking the power supply on this. I'm just going to be replacing the Nexus connector and hoping it works once I'm done. This is a Rev2 board. So second generation. All right, before I get to that, I'm just going to quickly change the thermal paste. I'm assuming that's what this was open for. Oh, well, it already got done. Now I'm doing it again. To using uh, some cheap thermal paste anyway. Never mind. So yeah, it looks like this has been opened to be serviced and they've damaged the Nexus connector, putting it back together. Yeah, then we've got milk on the board, look. Let's not let that go all over the board. Oh, didn't my accent come out then? Go all over the board, instead of saying go all over the board. I try and speak proper when I'm on the video. Didn't work that time, did it? That'll do, donkey, that'll do. Speak the dialect you're born with. Yeah, I, I, I just try and... Let's see, the thing is, I mean, when you're on YouTube and stuff, you've got to remember there's people who don't natively speak English. So I try and I try and speak proper, but sometimes the accent comes through. So I've just put some decent thermal pasta on. Right, I can put that to one side. Work on this board now. Right, we are. 
Let's just get rid of these cables. There we go. And now I can work on the board. Damn. Yeah, so if you look at the connectors, the Nexus connector is the one in the middle. And that's been yeeted off the board. Well, never mind. First and foremost, I'm going to hang the board over the edge of the table because I need to get this connector off. But there's plastic connectors nearby, so it's going to be rather difficult. These boards are nice and thin, though, so they're not too bad. But these connectors are just weak as hell. So I'm going to set my hot air at 440 degrees Celsius at 40% airflow. So I'm heating up from underneath just to protect the plastic connectors that are next to it from heat. Don't want to damage them. Travis used his teeth to remove that connector. <laughs> nah, it weren't that, mate. Travis's mom just looked at it. Connector was like, fuck this, I'm off. <laughs> All right, let's prep this board. I'm going to get some flux. There we go. So I've pre tinned those pads. And now I'm going to grab a donor board because I don't have any of those connectors brand new. I do need to order some because no doubt when I post a video, I'll start getting requests for these. So uh, yeah, I think I better order some. So same again, just going to heat up from underneath. It's the safest way to remove the connector. You can actually see it on there as well, it says Nexus there. I'm going to harvest that connector and then bring the board I'm working on back into play. Drop that there. Rinse and repeat. Only this time to solder the connector back on. Blow your bastard. Thank you. Push down on it and then hold it till it solidifies. I have moved the heat away, by the way. Damn it. No, no, I've got to redo it. You son of a biscuit. Damn it. Wow, that really holds the heat, huh? That really holds the heat. I should probably add a bit of flux to this now because I don't want to end up with dry joints. That will do. Let's just let it cool down. 
That really does hold heat. Look at that, it's still bubbling. Now that's nuts. Didn't realise I held that much heat. Okay, that's nice and solid. I'm happy with that. All the pins are good. Sizzle, sizzle. And that's it. Job done. Job done. Cool. Hopefully that's good to go. But damn, that holds some heat. There we go. That'll do. Ah. Right. Let's hope that this ribbon is not too damaged. Shall we? Uh, there's a slight bit of damage to that ribbon, but don't think it's going to cause an issue. There we go. There we go. Well, I'll just clean this fan out quickly because that hasn't been done. So it got serviced by the look of it, but they didn't complete it. Probably because they damaged it. There you go, look. Beautiful, mate. Right, does it work? Mm, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, this camera's pissing me off. <laughs> this camera's pissing me off. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. She be working, boys. She be working, boys. There we go. That's more like it. Perfect. I'm happy with that. Ugly cam indeed. Yes, indeed. We're getting paid, boy. Yeah, not sure what's going on with that other capture card, though. It keeps flickering. So my apologies for that. But yeah, like I said, I was streaming this live on Twitch. So if you want to check me out, there'll be a link to Twitch in the video description. And, um, yeah, if you do want to organise a repair, if you've got this issue, then check out the website, consolefix.co.uk, book it in, and I'm happy to take it on. But, uh, yeah, like I said, if you are watching it back as a video, don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'm counting one and three there. Uh, I'm tired, but never mind. And, uh, yeah, leave a comment, let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you for watching. See you later.